video is sponsored by STS Footwear. Footwear of the fans, by the fans, for the fans. Get your own Gator sneakers at stsfootwear.com and use the code GTFANS for $15 off at checkout. Feel of having that last game? Um, honestly, I felt, I mean, it was pretty bittersweet when I left the swamp, but, uh, like, it's a really a surreal moment, you know, and just it's my last last game, uh, putting that orange and blue on. So just honestly just come out and just give my teammates my all, um, just to be prepared, just come out here and just show um, what it is to be a Gator. You made a hard decision last year about coming back. Um, you're one of the few juniors that decided to come back. So when you think about that and you think of what the senior class, including you, helped build for Dan Mullen, what do you feel like your legacy is going to be? Um, I just want to be a guy who just was known for just giving his all every time he stepped on the field. Um, all working guy, just put himself, uh, put a uh, team for himself, unselfish, just uh, willing to do anything to be a great player. You do have one more game to play after this. How does it feel to play back home in Alabama at the Senior Bowl? Uh, I'm really excited for that. Uh, that'll be a wonderful moment for me. Uh, I played there like four or five times when I was in high school, so it just be, it'd be crazy just to end my uh, college career there. When you found out, what was the emotion like? Because you had to go through a lot in your recruitment, in your college career, a lot of ups and downs um, with coaching changes and all that stuff. How did it feel like you're going to be playing in front of your family as your last college game? Um, just crazy and just knowing a lot of things I've been through and stuff like that. Uh, like you said, with coaching changes, uh, players can get um, lost in that and just uh, put all their trust in the coach and things like that. And, uh, not realized the, what the main purpose of why you come into college and that's to play football. So, um, I mean, just knowing how, how, how what it means to be a Gator and just what it means to be here and just things like that, it keeps me humble and keeps me working hard all the time. And the way college football is, you could have transferred away at any point. And you were talented enough where teams were going to recruit you too once you got into the transfer portal. What made you stay? Um, speaking with my family, um, just – Coming, coming down, coming to with myself, and just looking in the mirror, and just realizing like you got to fight through adversity. Uh, life not, not life not perfect. So I mean, just coming out, just making sure uh, that I just fight adversity every day, um, beat the odds. Just I mean, just be me. There are a lot of people that will say that this this class specifically will be remembered as a class that brought Gator Standard back. Does that make you feel proud? Uh, yeah, it'll make me feel like I'm doing something uh, for the university, Coach Mullen. Um, I feel like we part of it, but uh, I mean, it's a lot more work to do. Um, I feel like uh, when they win the championship, then we'll know the uh, Gator standard back. But uh, we're still working right now, man. But do you feel like you're leaving a program better than when you came right. in? Definitely, man. We came in 4-7. Uh, now we've got back-to-back 10 -back seasons, and we're in our second New Year's Six Bowl. So, I mean, it's a great feeling. What's the biggest message you have for the young guys who might go through the same thing as you know how college football is? All right, uh, fight, fight through adversity and know there's going to be better days ahead. Um, I always go with your first mind. That's what I tell everybody. And speaking of young guys, that running back room is very talented coming back last year. What was your evaluation of some of those guys? Uh, a lot of different guys. They can do different things. Uh, you got power, speed, elusiveness. Just uh, everybody brings something different to the table, but uh, we got a great room. So I'm, uh, I'm pumped to see what those guys do next year, uh, and I'll always be watching. So. Final questions about Virginia. Um, Bronco Mendenhall is known to be an aggressive-minded defensive coach. Um, what do you see about their linebackers? Jordan Mack it seems a very talented guy. He's returning for them. What stands out? Um, just guys that play real smart. Um, I mean, they like to blitz their linebackers a lot of things like that. So uh, we got to be prepared for that and just ready to come play football. Honestly, because both teams haven't played in a long time. So uh, we'll be a little rusty. Hopefully we don't be.